Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today it's a uh, Seiko 5 new release. From a last year, I showed you a bunch of new divers that were kind of taking the place of the SKX. They called them the 5KX. Um, really cool watches that I know a lot. Some people on the channel didn't really like that much in the comments, but man, they continue to sell amazingly well. Um, so. Back in March, when pandemic was hitting full swing here in New York, I had a Zoom conference with my Seiko rep. He showed me uh, 95, 14 new Seiko 5 models. Nine of them that kind of hit the news this past week on, on some of the blogs are those, what they call the bezel-less fives. And those are the nine I have uh, here for you today. There are another five with bezel waiting in the wings they're called fall releases but they are supposed to come out in june not sure when they're coming uh these that you're going to see in the video they did come in um on friday um you should, hopefully you're seeing this video like tuesday or wednesday that they came in the prior friday i was kind of surprised by it they went up and they pretty much sold that over the weekend so uh, before the last one went out the door i want to do a quick video so by the time i show this video i hopefully have good stock on everything uh I'm wearing a seagull and an islander. Let's check out the Seiko 5s. So since I have nine watches to show you, I want to try to keep this video quick. Uh, well, go over each one quickly. All nine are the same you know, outer dimensions as usual, um, but they are kind of grouped in three groups of three. Three on bracelet, three gilt dials, and three on a nylon strap. What I want to, uh, I'll go over this one in detail and I'll show you each one quickly. I guess I'm just going to jump right into it. So these are Seiko 5 sports models. Um, I do want to say the models I'm going to show you all say made in Japan on the bottom of the dial. Uh, I am a Seiko USA authorized retailer. And these models came in, they all say made in Japan on the bottom of the dial. This was not what was present in the stock photography. So pictures you see on the website might be different depending on when you see the site and when you see the video. Um, so don't hang me if the one you get doesn't say made in Japan on it. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to make an in-process switch. This was kind of a surprise to me. If I find out more info, I'll drop it in another video. Okay, so I was able to find out before the video went live. Uh, these Seiko 5 models that were produced for Seiko USA or the USA market were actually all made in the Seiko factory in Japan. So they will all bear the made in Japan mark. 40 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so it's smaller than the 5KX that came out last year. Those were 42 and a half. So 40 millimeters in diameter, around 11 and a half thick to a flat hard lex crystal. 44 millimeters uh, lug tip to lug tip, very comfortable to wear. Exhibition case back, so you can see the movement and the rotor and stuff. Okay. Uh, 20 millimeter lug the first three i'm going to show you are on a bracelet it is not a solid bracelet it is folded you can possibly see the line through the center of the lug going this way but it gives the appearance of solid they are cotter pins or friction pins hollow end links double push button de uh, deploying clasp no divers extension obviously there's not dive watches 100 meters of water resistance um, you'll notice on these first three I'm going to show you on the bracelet, the uh, lunette or the bezel is polished, okay? Uh, non true down crown, so hand winds and hacks. Wind it for a, uh, four, the, it's a Seiko 4 36, wind it for a 40 hour power reserve or wear it. Pull out the crown set the time, the second hand stops, we can change the time. And then we can also change the day and the date. You know, people are going to think, I know it's 10.30 a.m. on the watch, so don't worry. Luma Bright on the markers. I'm not sure why they came with Seiko Pro Specs tagging. Might just be the tags they had available. Uh, who knows, guys? Don't forget, um, these are all being produced um, kind of when the pandemic was really hitting the eastern part of the of the world. Uh, the world's a globe, so how is there an eastern part? Anyway, if we look at a Mercator projection of the world, uh, the pandemic was really hitting the eastern part of the world, so possibly they did not have tags to print, so they use these. Uh, my summation. They're all going to be priced between 275 and 325. 275 for the stainless models, uh, and on the on nylon strap, and 325 for the two tone models, the gilt dials that I'll show you. On a bracelet, 144 grams. Okay, on nylon at 76, 
Um, something, I, I think I covered everything, right? I mean, it's a new, it's a cool watch. Nice looking, very simple. You want me to zoom in on the dial? I'll zoom in on the dial really quick. Classic hands, applied markers. Looks really nice. Even the alignment's not even that bad, right? People are gonna shout at it, whatever. It's Seiko. You take what you get. Nicely done. But I do want to touch on, let me dip into my bag of tricks one second. This is interesting. Stick around. Bigger watch, 42 and a half millimeter. This is the 5KX from last year. Smaller crystal. Smaller watch, bigger crystal. The crystal here is 31 and a half millimeters in diameter. The crystal here, the best I can tell, I'm not popping it out, is about 32 and a half millimeters in diameter. So we lose the bezel, okay? Make it a smaller case, but we expand the viewing area of the dial. I think it's a genius maneuver. Whether it's a maneuver or just, you know, a, a bottoms up design or ground up design, uh, I think it's excellent. So you have a ton of viewability here larger than an SKX or a 5KX. The SKX and 5KX share the same 31 half millimeter crystal. Uh, so I think that is really cool. I'm gonna put that guy aside. Um, I covered everything I wanted to do there. Uh, I'm going to just flip through my bag of tricks here. I'll come up with the blue dial next. So everything, so again, the first three I'm gonna show you are all the same polished bezel, bracelet, weight, price 275, beautiful blue dial i showed these on instagram i, I did no um i didn't do any um advertising uh, all of a sudden they, sh they showed up i popped them on instagram and they sold out so if you don't follow my instagram maybe you want to if you don't use instagram that's okay you know i'll get to the video eventually okay so here it is on the blue dial i think it's killer great look and there's one more there is a black dial so i showed you gray i don't know if i really said it but obviously it's gray blue and now here is black you know matte black or flat black dial silver hands and indices luma bright i'll shut the lights out at the end i'll show you one of them um not running of course two language day wheel english right right on camera two language day wheel uh english and spanish same bracelet same bezel um i guess while we're dealing with metal let's go right into the gilt models so this is now same watch as the black one I just showed you, but we've uh, swapped out for gold hands and markers, gold writing, like how they matched everything. But it's on a, this one's on a regular, the same stainless steel bracelet, the polished bezel. These are slightly more expensive because they do have the gold on the dial, um, gold tone I should say, but they match the chapter ring. They did a really good job. I think it looks really nice. So we have this one, we have this one. Um, they, so these, this is getting now more expensive, 325. The one I just showed you before was uh, 275 still, even with the dial, but this, the bracelet was single color. So now we have a two-tone yellow, okay? 325, we match the markers and the hands. It's very nice looking. Would have been better on a multi-link rather than the three-link. You guys know what I'm talking about, but it still looks really cool. Nicely, nicely executed. I'm just gonna flip it around for a minute. The gold does not go through the clasp at all. And the last one is that same, same like the same I just showed you, except now we're in rose gold. Rose gold hands, markers, rose gold writing, rose gold crown. I mean, I think these look pretty. These look pretty good. Not bad, right? For a two tone. I'm not really a two tone fan. Uh, but I think they did a decent job on these. Mm, very nice. Okay, and then we get into. What I think are really cool are these nylon strap ones. So the difference now with these last three I'm going to show you. So it's a, uh, I feel like uh, <laughs> I might be confusing you. Three dial colors now on the last three. It's the same dial colors as the first three. It's gray, black, and blue. But now the bezel is um, brushed, as you can see. Uh, let's um, look at the other black one. Ah, uh, gray one up here. So here's the other gray one. See the bezel. The rest of the case finishing, I believe, is the same. It is. Oh, drilled lugs. I kind of just noticed that. Um, at 20, because they're 20 millimeter, um, I do not know of any strap code bracelets that fit these as of yet. Um, I don't think they've made any. I'm just letting you know. But so that's the difference here. These last thing I'm going to show you are a brushed bezel. It's 275 those same prices on the metal. Where is it? There it is. Um, and on, of course, a nylon strap. Seiko branded. So we have gray. 
And then we have blue, silver, uh, numbers, and uh, silver applied, applied indices and silver hands. And then we have the black. Uh, you may have picked up that Saturday, Saturday uh, Sabado is done in blue. Uh, these are going to have uh, blue Saturdays and red Sundays as a typical Seiko 4 or 36 movement does. There we go. And this one's way face uh, for Thursday. So let's see, that's all nine. I showed you the Seiko 5 from last year to give you an idea of that. What I think is really cool that these are more legible, if you will, um, more dial area. Let's um, if you shut out the lights. Do a Lumi, and then we'll um, try one on and be done. So they're all done with green Luma Bright. They glow fine, very well, easy to read. Hour hand, minute hand, seconds hand, and the indices. You can see them see in the background. One sitting on the ground. They're they're everywhere here. They're all glowing quite well. So getting an idea for size: 40 millimeters in diameter, right? 44 tip to tip. Uh, wears very comfortably and very easy to read. Uh, not much to clutter up the dial. Um, let me see. Get it below the bone if you want to see it there. There you go. I have a six and three quarter inch uh, wrist. Plenty of plenty, plenty of room to go small if I want. And then, because this is nylon, there's plenty of room to grow as well. Um, the bracelets as well. Um, I'm able to try one on really quick so you can see how the bracelet fits. So there's the bracelet one on my wrist, the blue one. It was I, honestly, guys, it just happened that way. <laughs> it was the one that was right in front of me. Um, above below well, above below above uh, plenty of room it looks like they size the bracelets just like they do on their divers i'd have to probably take out at least probably three links or so to get it to fit me properly uh, and then you have a uh, two position of micro adjustment uh, to really get it correct so that'll about wrap it up i mean in conclusion i really think they did a great job i think they kept affordability I, people are going to say they're expensive, and for what you're getting from a, from a name brand, they're not. Sure, if you're going to base it off of anything you can buy online, there might be more money than you may expect, uh, but they're delivering a solid, solid watch. 40 millimeters. They listened to you. They listened to everybody. They didn't just, they could have just taken that 42 and a half millimeter diver, popped off the bezel, put on a smooth one, and said, hey, check it out we're done but no they designed a you know a new case a little bit larger than the snk case right that's what 38 or 36 uh, i think it's 38 um so two millimeters larger um and it is excellent wearable i think by almost anyone it could even be a large ladies field watch uh for sure with a 44 on the tip to tip uh so anyway this has been mark from longonwatch.com showing you the new seiko 5 sports models please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you have not Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.